be one of the biggest things we've ever built! Yeah, they don't come much bigger than skyscrapers. Bob says it will be about ten times taller than me at full stretch. Wow! Right, team. We're ready to start digging the foundations for the skyscraper. We're going to dig a deep hole about the size of three school buses stacked up. So, where are the buses? Instead of actual buses, we're going to use my laser measure. It'll tell us when we've got to the right depth. Look, Scoop is exactly 5.63 metres away from me. Hey! How far's that, then? That's about half a school bus long. And this empty tea mug is exactly nine centimetres deep. Hold on, team. It's Mayor Madison calling. I'd better answer this. Ooh, I love it in new ground. It's all fresh and new and ready to be stooped. And I can't wait to get stuck into all that muck. No machine can dig faster and deeper than me. Hey, I bet I can clear the earth away quicker than you can dig it. Ho <laughs> ho, we'll soon see about that. <laughs> Wait for Bob's signal. Oh. Well, we can certainly try. Hello, Mayor Madison. Oh, hello, Wendy. I was just saying to Bob we can't hang about on this one. I want to see that skyscraper pronto. You can't exactly rush a skyscraper, Mayor. You have to dig down before you can build up. Great. So off you go and get digging, then. Bye now. Ah, so the mayor stopped us digging to tell us to hurry up with the digging. Did you hear that, Muck? That is a direct order from Mayor Madison to get digging! Let the challenge begin! Madison, we're digging. OK. Let's take a break, everyone. Oh, we were only just getting going. Why are people always taking breaks? Us machines don't need to. Away trying to race Scoop. Is Scoop still digging? Yes, faster than ever. Scoop, you can stop digging now. I've stopped. You win. That's a great try, Max, but I'm not falling that way. You just want me to stop, so you can win. No, I don't care about losing the challenge. Well, I do. The feeling. These are exciting times for spring city. Uh, Bob. <laughs> Nothing says busy, bustling business like a skyscraper does. Bob? Wendy? Hmm. You've gone much too deep, Scoop. I said as deep as three school buses, remember? You could fit a whole fleet of buses in there. Right. Let's see what you've hit. It looks like 
or some kind of wall. Let's just fill the hole up again. Sorry, Muck, but when you find something unexpected in the ground, you have to stop work. It's hard to tell for certain, but this wall could be really old and special. I'll go and call Anish Bose, the archaeologist. The archae what -igist? Archaeologist. They're people who help teach us about the olden days by finding things that have been buried underground for hundreds of years. Ooh. They're experts in digging stuff up. I thought that was me. <laughs> I think you've done enough digging for today, Scoop. Yes, there is no doubt. This is one of the most exciting discoveries in years. This is extremely bad news. Underneath this earth lies the remains of a wall from Roman times. From a fort or a villa, probably. Oh, Roman. What's that? The Romans were people who lived here about 2,000 years ago. They were excellent builders. Ooh, just like us. Talking of building, Professor Bose, when can we get going again? Well, hard to say. But this dig is going to take at least a month. A month? That's ages! I did all that in just one morning! Aha! But unlike you, we have to dig very slowly and very carefully. Well, no wonder it takes so long. Your brushes are way too tiny. Well, it looks like we've got no choice. We'll have to stop working. Hello, everyone. Oh, dear. I've come to get a progress report for the mayor. Sorry, Mr. Bentley. I'm afraid there won't be any progress. No progress? Oh, dear me, no. Mayor Madison won't be at all happy. I... Why don't you come to my office? Have a nice cup of tea. The mugs are nine centimetres deep. Well, that certainly is generous. <laughs> What the fuss is all about? Looks like a load of broken flower pots to me. Not a flower pot, Mr. Scoop. This emperor was what the Romans used for water. Ah, now, what do we have here? But what am I going to tell Mayor Madison? She'll think this is absolutely fascinating. If I'm not mistaken, that's part of a Roman hedometer. Come and see, Bob. You're going to find this very interesting. The hodometer. It was used to measure distance. Ah, just like my laser measure. Instead of a laser, this used a little wheel to measure distance. Ah, that would have taken ages. Yes, no engines to speed up the work in Roman time. Just people using handmade tools, pulleys, and cranes. Truly incredible. Hi, Scoop. Not much of a building site when you can't build, eh? Oh, Bob, it's all my fault. And I can't even help the Archie Watsons with their digging because they use tiny little brushes and I'm a big, clumsy machine. Never mind, Scoop. You'd be better off without me, just like the Romans. Big machines just make big mistakes for lots of people to come and stare at. <laughs> There's no way I could do my job without big machines like you. Really? Yes. And those people don't think it's a mistake. They think it's amazing. I mean, you don't see Roman ruins every day. Hang on. What is it, Bob? I've got an idea. Scoop, gather the team. Right, team? We're not going to sit around twiddling our thumbs. Oh, good. I was born to my great parts. Everyone wants to watch the excavation. So... Let's build them a viewing gallery that will be safe. Yes, Bob! And Scoop, we definitely do need your help because we have to build this one fast. So, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Madison, 
This isn't a skyscraper. No, indeed. It's much more interesting than that. It's the remains of a Roman fort. Come and have a look. Ooh, look, there's Spring City TV. We are thrilled to have found Roman history underneath Spring City. From the ruins of the past springs the city of the future. Because after all, you've got to dig down before you can build up. Well said, Mayor Madison. Hey, that's what I said. She took my line. Oh, did you hear that? Right, team. Today, we are going to be finishing the lift for the skyscraper. Brilliant work! Yay! Um, what's the lift, Bob? Well, Mark. When you've got a building as tall as this, it's far too high to get up and down using the stairs. So, we build a little carriage called a lift that you get into, press a button, and it will take you all the way to the top where you can see the whole of Spring City. Wow! The whole of Spring City? I want to see the whole of Spring City! Can I go up in the lift? Please, 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 please! Sorry, Scoop. I think you're just a little bit too big to go up in a lift. Yes. Your bacon would hang out. Oh. Tiny, can we have the loading cage, please? Coming right down, Bob. Thanks, Tiny. Now we'll head up to the top and get started. Can you lot load those materials into the cage for us, please? No problem, Bob. Can we build it? Yes, we can! Sorry I'm late. Hello, Bob. Oh, hello, Mayor Madison. Hi, team. Hi, Hi Mayor Madison. Madison. Hello, 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 Mr. Mr. Bentley. Mr. Bentley. Oh, uh, <laughs> hello, uh, everyone. Thank you, Mr. Bentley. That will do. Now, Bob, I'd like to go up to the top floor, please. There may be a bit of a problem with that. In as much as we haven't put the lift in yet. But I have to get my photo taken at the top for the cover of tomorrow's Spring City Chronicle. A man surveys her city. We're just about to start putting the lift in now. Maybe you could come back later? Oh, there is the service lift. No, I don't think so. We'll come back later. Mr. Bentley? Oh, well, uh, um, we could come back at four. Four? Four it is then. That means I'll have plenty of time to get my hair done. A mayor always has to be first. Well, if the mayor wants to get to the top at four, we'd better get moving. Okay, little guys, load me up. <laughs> I could see the view from the top for the whole of Spring City. You're okay, Goal. You can go to the top of the skyscraper anytime you like. Time for some tower power! Wait a minute. Maybe I can get to the top of the skyscraper. And I won't need a lift. Let's get this lift motor up and running. Leo and I will bolt it into place, and Wendy, you can wire it in. Okay, okay Bob. Bob. down again, please. We've got an extra heavy load to send up for Bob. Coming right down. Wow. What an extra heavy load coming up. 
some more tower power! he likes it as much as he thought he would. Right. Now we've just got to install the lift car and the... That sounds like Scoop. Oh, no! What's he doing up there? Wishing he was down here by the sound of things. got an idea. Tiny, lower the cage down to me. Wendy, we're going to need the welding equipment. Okay, Bob. I'll get the welding masks. towards me. I don't think I can move. You have to. I need to get you down. I'm really sorry, Bob. Now Mayor Madison will come back and the lift won't be ready. It'll be fine. Come on. Just move towards me. I can't. Okay. Then I'm coming to get you. Walking across the beam! No, Bob! That's dangerous! Stay where you are! I'm coming! Okay then, Scoop. Take it really slowly. Keep going, Scoop. Keep your wheels in line. That's good. Don't look down. You're doing great. Hold it steady, Tiny! Well done. Now keep your brakes tight. Take us down slowly, Tiny. Oh, we need to down here, Bob. Nearly, Scoop. Nearly. What on earth were you doing up there, Scoop? I'm sorry, everyone. I just really wanted to go up in a lift and see the whole of Spring City. I said it was a bad idea. Well, at least you're okay. But it was a really silly thing to do. Okay, okay, that's enough, you two. Right, if we all work together, we might still get the job done in time. All 
all done. Hello, team. Maya Madison. My hair is done, and I'm ready for my photo at the top of the skyscraper. You'll have to wear one of these if you're going to the top of the skyscraper. Oh. Right. We just need to call the lift. One for you too, Mr. Bentley. Thank you, Leo. Going up all the way to the top. Well, at least you got to see the whole of Spring City, Scoop. I did. But I think this digger will be keeping his wheels firmly on the ground from now on. Ready for my close-up, Mr. Bentley. Shoot! 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 Let's go! Not Damn. sure. She looks quite her best. I've seen her look better. Get off! Oh, do something, Mr. Bentley. Get some birdseed. Should be a simple enough job, Wendy. New barriers at the entrance to the town hall and paving for the driveway. Well, if we're digging all this old stuff up, we'll need to attach Scoop's high-powered breaker. Yes! I love having a go on the da-da-da-da. It's a breaker, Scoop. A breaker. You really should learn the word. Bob! Mayor Madison. I want everything looking perfect for the grand unveiling of the statue. Grand, grand unveiling? unveiling? A statue of what, Mayor Madison? <coughs> a statue of the most inventive, energetic, and forward-thinking person in Spring City history. Are we talking about a statue of you, Mayor Madison? Yes, we are, Wendy. How did you guess? And when it arrives, Bob, I want you to put it right there. No problem. Actually, I'd better take a photo of you, Mayor, and send it off to the sculptor, or it won't be done in time. Oh dear, this thing is so fiddly. Come on, Mr. Bentley. I can only hold this smile for so long. Done. I think. There. How does that feel, Scoop? Brilliant. You know I love having a go on the da 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 da. Scoop, it's called a breaker. It's easy to remember because it's good at breaking stuff up. Oh, I get it now. Can I start it yet, Bob? Can I start it? I'm so excited! Boy get nervous when Scoop gets overexcited. And he always gets overexcited when he uses the breaker. What's the breaker? Nah, that's just the noise it makes. What mate? I beat the breaker. I think look. Just try not to get overexcited, please. Now, Scoop. You need to dig down to the level of the string, or the rainwater won't drain away properly. Got it? Yep, got it, Bob. Can I start it up now? I want to get breaking! I mean, careful breaking. Oh. Can I? Please, 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 please! OK, Scoop, but only if you help answer one question. What's that, Bob? Can we build it? Yes, we can! Scoop, we don't need to dig down to the Earth's core. Is that far? Look out, Scoop. I just mean, be careful with the da 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 Okay. Shout. This is so Well, it works, Bob. It 
just not working properly. I'll take a look. No, no. I think I know what the problem is. Use this knob. Switch the voltage. Now, Wendy, try it again. Looking good. Just needed some Bob magic. Uh, that might be a little fast. Actually, maybe some Wendy magic might be better. Good shape. Come on, Scoop. Everyone deserves a breather now and again. Uh, I've just got something I need to sort out. It's, uh... uh you go ahead. I'll see you there. Oh, there go my hydraulics again. Uh, was that Wendy just calling for you? I didn't hear anything. I'm pretty sure it was. Oh, Gull. I didn't listen to anyone and now I've sprung a leak and got to keep it covered up. Oh, no. That's coming. Actually, maybe Muck can help. Anything else for me to get rid of? Uh, no. Not at the moment, Muck. In fact, you could have a little rest if you wanted. Oh, fine. No! You look tired. Everyone deserves a breather now and again. You know where a grey spot to take five is? Right here. Well, it has been quite a hard morning. Yeah, and we're in pretty good shape. We should let one of the others have a turn first. Hey, Muck! Do you want to have a zoom through the new automatic barrier? Oh, yes, please, Paul. Hang on, Muck. If you're here, then who's what school? Uh, uh... Nothing! Doesn't matter! See you in a minute! Paving slabs. Well, one thing's for sure, we're never going to finish the drive in time for the grand opening. I'm so sorry, Bob. It's all my fault. I should have told you about the leak. Yes, you should have. 
But don't worry, Scoop. We'll think of something. But the paving slabs are all broken. They're like jigsaw pieces. Jigsaw pieces? Scoop, you've given me an idea. Are we going to go home and make a jigsaw, Bob? No, Mark. We are going to lay down some seriously crazy paving. Ready, team? Let's go! that? Oh, uh, dear me. I must have sent the wrong picture. That appears to be a uh, me on my last holiday. Uh-oh. Well, at least someone likes the statue. Well, that's the last holiday you'll be having for some time, Mr. Bentley. Curtis, I can't believe it. How old? Yeah, Dad. You're not getting any younger. Mm, thanks, Leo. Come on, we'd better go. I'm starving. A slap up lunch at Chef Tatty's, eh? Now that's a proper birthday treat. Now, Bob, until we get back, you have to look after my garage. Are you sure you understand how this place works? No problem, Curtis. Relax. I am relaxed. Kind of. Just remember my book. At Curtis's Garage, we, we put, put the service in the service station. station. Nice one, Bob. <laughs> when you told something ten times, it tends to sink in. Come on, Alfred. Let's go. Happy birthday, Curtis. Okay, team, this is the secret plan. While Leo is keeping Curtis busy, we're going to be working on a big birthday surprise for him. Oh, well, is it a pile of gravel? I love gravel. Is it gravel, Bob? No, Muck, it's not a pile of gravel. We're giving Curtis's garage workshop a complete makeover. I love garages. If I hadn't gone into building, I reckon I could have been a mechanic. What your problem is, Lofty mate, is your brakes are all gone. <laughs> well, I need you to be a builder today, Scoop, because we're putting up a new roof, a new sign, and best of all, installing a new vehicle inspection lift. What's a vehicle inspection lift? Well, Muck, it's a... Uh... It's all right, Lofty, I'll explain. A vehicle inspection lift is a lift to raise vehicles off the ground so they can be inspected underneath. Exactly. Now we've got a lot to do in not a lot of time. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Maybe we could just get a sandwich from that cafe and head back. A sandwich? I'm just worried about leaving someone else in charge. Oh, come on, Dad. It's not someone else, it's Bob. And it's your birthday. We're about to eat at the best restaurant in the whole of Spring City, so just relax and enjoy I am relaxed. Slowly. Gently. That's it, Lofty. A little to the left. And now all the way down. It's in. Excellent. 
excellent job. Oh, a beautiful piece of kit. Us mechanic types know these things. I could totally mend a car, no problem with the help of one of these. What's Scoop on about? I don't know. I don't think he does either. Well, that's the final panel of roof in place. All we need to do now is put up the neon sign and take down the scaffolding tower. Looks like we'll have Curtis's surprise finished right on time. As long as there aren't any problems. Hello. Could somebody help me? I seem to have a bit of a problem. What can I cook for you today? Uh, what's the quickest thing, Chef Tati? The quickest? Oh, oh, well, the minute steak. That takes a minute. I take it. What about you, son? Don't keep the poor man waiting. We've got places we need to be. Um, so, what's in the fish pasta? Fish and pasta. Right, okay, good, good. And, uh, ham and mushroom pizza. What's that? It's a pizza with ham and mushrooms on it. Oh. And how about the burger and chips? Uh, is that... Um... Chips and a burger, yes. Mm, yummy. <laughs> I think I'll have all of them. All of them? No. I'm a bit peckish. OK, Mr. Bentley, I think all the tyres are at the right pressure. Yes, but I think maybe a little more in this one. Uh, what do you think, Philip? Very well, sir. OK, then. Just a little bit. A little more. A little more. No, no, I think that's too much. Bob, you've got a bit of a queue building up. <laughs> Hiya, Bob! Hi, Betsy. I'll be with you soon. We need to get on with putting up the neon sign. I know, but I promised to put the service into service station. Why don't you let out some of the air and we'll start again? <sighs> uh, hello? Leo, we're behind schedule, so you're going to have to stall your dad for a while longer. Uh, your thing. So, gentlemen, would you like a dessert? No, thanks, Chef Tati. I think we're both full, especially one of us. Uh, actually, I think I might have room for one of each. One of each? Oh, the boy must have hollow legs. There. Now, what do you think, Bob? Isn't it flashing ever so slightly too quickly? Huh. It looks okay to me, Mr. Bentley. Oh, maybe it's flashing ever so slightly too slowly. Uh, let's check it against the other indicator. So, how are you, Betsy? Well, I I've been better, Scoop. I've got this funny rattle, you see. Mm, sounds like your big end. I beg your pardon? Yeah, you need to get that looked at sharpish. But Curtis isn't here and Bob's far too busy. Well, you seem to know what you're talking about. Yes, I do, don't I? Thank you. <laughs> In fact, follow me! Coming through! Coming through! <laughs> Minibus in need of immediate mechanical attention. Just hop on there, Bets. Scoop, what are you up to? Nothing for you to worry about. Oh, I always get worried when he says that. I really don't think you should mess about with the lift before Bob checks it's working OK. Here we go. Up, up, up. That should do it. Now, where's the stop button? School? Where's the stop button? School? Where's the stop button? Oh, no! Betsy! Betsy! Are you OK? I'm fine, Bob. Bit of a scratch to my paintwork. But it looks like your new garage roof came off worse. Oh. I should never have put Betsy on the lift. Now I've damaged her and the new roof. I'm a useless mechanic. I'm sorry, Bob. Don't worry, Scoop. I can sort out the damage to the roof and respray Betsy, too. You know, the view from up here is amazing. I can see all the way to Spring City. Oh, there's Curtis and Leo coming down the road. <laughs> oh, no. We've not finished the workshop yet, Bob. How are we going to stop Curtis and Leo getting back? I've ruined Curtis.
Curtis's birthday surprise too. If anyone needs mechanical attention, it's me. That's it. Well done, Scoop. You've just given me an idea. Hi, Bob. We're on our way back. Couldn't eat any more. Alfred. Nonsense, Alfred. Quick as you like. Really carefully, really, really carefully. <coughs> rattle? No, uh, I heard that. Yeah. Yes, I definitely rattled there. Right. That's the lift, the roof, and the sign sorted. I think we're all ready for the birthday boy. Not quite. I've got one more surprise up my sleeve. Well, you'd better hurry, because here they come. Happy birthday, Curtis! Wow! My workshop! I don't know what to say! It was all Leo's idea. And I baked this for you, too. That's amazing! Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, everyone! And Leo. How can I ever thank you for such a wonderful surprise? Well, by the look of him, don't offer him any cake. <laughs> Friendly little fellas, aren't they? Hi, guys. Hello, fishies. Hi, fish. Hello, fishies. Wait until you all meet the Sea Life Centre's newest member. Oh. Is that a seahorse, Tilly? Or a humpback whale? Or how about a giant squid? Actually, it's a female tiger shark. Do you mean she's half tiger, half shark? <laughs> no, Muck. A tiger shark is a shark born with a stripy pattern on its skin. Sort of like a tiger. The stripes help it to blend in with the water, camouflaging it from bigger fish while it's young. Will we still have to be here when the shark arrives? There's no need to be frightened of sharks, Leo. <laughs> Who said I was frightened? If it makes you feel any better, the tiger shark is just a pup. I've always wanted a pet puppy dog to play with. Dogs and sharks are kind of similar because they're both called pups when they're young and they both eat meat. We'll have to build a nice big aquarium tank for her to swim around in. And we'll need to finish it before she arrives for feeding time this evening. We'll make the tank look like the ocean, so she feels right at home. Okay, team, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Absolutely. I just need to pick the right machines for the job. Pick me, Bob. I'll help with the puppy. Pick me, 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 me. Lofty, we'll need your help lifting the shark. How exciting. And Muck, you can carry her inside a tank in your rear bin. Ooh, I can't wait. That says literally the greatest day of my life. Can I go too, Bob? Well, perhaps once you've finished your work here, Yes! Finished! 
All right, then. Go on. Yes! But no hijinks. Promise? Promise! I can't wait to meet the new pet! It's not a... pet. That's it, Lofty. Nice and slowly. What are we going to call her? How about Captain Bubbles? Or Admiral Smiley? Little Miss Chompy. Wow. She's so stripey. Perfect. Hello, Stripey. I'm Scoop, your new best friend. We're going to have so much fun together. Running in the park, playing ball. All right, fellas. Lofty and I need to get back quickly to help Bob. Can you two look after the shark and drive slowly and carefully straight back to the Sea Life Center? Then it'll be time for her feeding. All right, then. No problem, Tilly. Hear that, Mum? Tilly wants us to take Stripey for a walk around the neighborhood. Ooh, I think she said take her straight back to the Sea Life Center. But she also said we need to look after her. And a good pet owner gives his pet lots of exercise. Come on, let's go. Uh... Yeah, what then? And this is Bob's yard where we live. And look, there's Bob's pet. She's driving too. Say hi, Bill Chan. And don't forget to put me into my yoga glasses. And that's Mayor Madison, who runs Spring City. Hey. Focus, Mr. Bentley. Mr. Bentley. Sh 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 shark. Are you all right, Mr. Bentley? Do you need a cup of tea? Uh... Thanks, Lofty. Oh, Leo, can you please fetch me my drill? I left it in the gift shop. Uh, there aren't any sharks in there, are there? Not that I know of. Relax, Leo. It's just a toy. See? Oh. Hmm. Ah! There's absolutely nothing to worry about. I promise that you'll love the shark as soon as she arrives. Which should be any minute now. Kind of tricks. Like this. Cooper, shake hands. Speak. <laughs> Ooh. Roll over. <laughs> Good boy. Uh, Stripey, shake hands. Oh, she just needs a little practice. Stripey, speak. Maybe she's just shy. Stripey, roll over. Oh, I know. Stripey, swim in circles. That's it. Good girl. Well done. Clever fishy. Not bad, but can she play fetch? <laughs> Once we fill it with filtered water, the tank will be ready for the new shark. Well, she should be here by now. Leo, you take Lofty and go and look for the others. Does it have to be me? That shark must be getting really hungry. Try 
invite me for a walk wasn't such a good idea. <gasps> Skew? Lofty! Leo! Quick! We need to go up! It's just my engine. There's no need to be scared of Stripey Leo. Look. <sighs> She's so cute. And hungry. We need to free Muck so we can get her back to the Sea Life Centre. Lofty, lower your hook. Leo, attach it to Muck's bucket. Stripey, keep swimming in circles. Good girl. OK, team, can we fix this? Yes, we can. Sorry, Tilly. We should have taken her straight home. Everyone, meet Stripey. Oh, isn't she awesome? OK, team, let's get Stripey into the tank. Up she goes. That's it, Lofty. Take it in steady. Solar panel, Lofty. It turns sunlight into electricity. Oh. Is everything OK, Mayor Madison? Perfect, Bob. Thank you so much for installing this solar panel. It's powering my office computer. And on a really sunny day, it boils the kettle for my tea. Thank you, Jenny. We must think ahead and build more renewable energy for all of Spring City. Oh, yes. For the future. Renewable bubble engine, eh? What's that? Renewable energy, Muck. It's electricity made from things that won't run out, like sunlight. Oh. And our job at the Sea Life Centre is to install another type of renewable energy, a wind farm. Uh, how do you grow wind on a farm? It's not that sort of farm, Muck. Look. They're wind turbines, just like windmills. They make electricity from the power of the wind. That is amazing. Oh, I'm looking forward to turning them on, Bob. Then we'd better get going. The wind farm won't build itself. Oh, but Bob, I've got lots more plans for renewable energy to run past you. Excellent, Mr. Bentley. Let's talk about them as soon as we've finished at the Sea Life Centre. <laughs> So far, so good, Bob. Everything's on schedule for the Mayor to make the big switch over this evening. Great! Hi, Matt. Look at all the digging I've done. Ooh, what's going in there? These. They're the foundations for the turbines, so they have to be really strong. 
there will be six altogether in two rows of three. I can't wait to see the big spinny things go spinning round and round and round and... Oh. OK, team. We need to get the turbines working by the end of the day. Can we build them? Yes, we can! out the cable connections inside the Sea Life Centre. Sure, Wendy. Bob? Bob, we must talk about the Mayor's other renewable energy plan soon. Oh, um... I know these plans are for the future, but as Spring City gets bigger and bigger, it's going to need a lot more power to light homes, run washing machines, make toast. Maybe today we should... You're right. Why do tomorrow what we can do today? Thinking ahead, that's the motto. It's just... Yes, I don't just want to tell you the mayor's plans, Bob. I want to show you. OK. But I mustn't leave the site for long. Let's be quick. You're in charge, Scoop. No problem, Bob. Wonder. What is it, Scoop? What if we move the foundations closer together? That way, we could add more spinny turbines into the same space in the future. Wouldn't that be helpful? Ew, I'm not sure you want to do that. That's not what Bob said. But what if the Sea Life Centre needs to build a blue whale tank or a giant squid pool? They need lots more power for light and clean water and... I don't know. Toast? Toast. Maybe not toast. But look, we could get ten spinny turbines into the same space. <laughs> and remember, Mr Bentley said we should think ahead. <laughs> Are you really, really sure about this, Scoop? It's not in the plans. Of course! Bob is going to be so pleased with us! Wendy's nearly finished connecting the cables and... Are those foundations closer together? Yes! It's like Mr Bentley said. We're thinking ahead. Oh, Mr Bentley said so. Yes, that's right. He did. He's with Bob right now. But we need some help lifting the turbines, Leo. Uh, OK. OK, Lofty. Steady. Yes! Now you need to put the spinny blades on top. OK, Lofty. Gently does it. In the harbour, we can use wave power to light the lighthouse. Amazing. Yes, Mr Bentley, but... And on the end of the pier, more wind power to run the amusement arcade. That's interesting, but... And, of course, we have bigger plans for Spring City itself. It's just the... Onwards, Philip, as you wish, sir. Mr Bentley, Bob, these plans are great, but... 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 Perhaps we should make sure the wind farm at the Sea Life Center works first. Oh, yes. Oh, I suppose you're right. Uh, better stick to the plan. Uh, Philip, back to the Sea Life Center, please. Certainly, sir. Easy does it, Lofty. So that's the first row finished. Should we do the next row now? No, no. Let's get these spinning around first. I want a surprise, Bob. Can you take the brakes off, Leo? OK. Let's see how it goes. That doesn't look right. <gasps> oh, no! Bob, look! We've been thinking ahead! Hang on a moment. They're too close together! <laughs> Uh -oh. oh, 
dear, my lovely new turbines. I suppose I'd better inform the mayor of this little mishap. Oh, no! I broke the spinny thing! Scoop. Oh, Bob! I wanted to make room for more spinny turbines in the future, so I got Lofty to move the foundations closer together. I said it was a bad idea. You should have stuck to the plan, Scoop. But I thought I was, you know... Thinking ahead, like Mr. Bentley said we should. I'm so, so sorry, Bob. All right. The problem now is we only have three working turbines. They won't generate enough power for the Sea Life Center. And the mayor expects to switch over the wind power tonight. We need a new plan, Bob. If only we could use sun power instead of just spinny wind power. Ah, uh, you mean solar power, Scoop? Oh, yes. Just like at the zoo. Brilliant. That gives me an idea. But we'll have to hurry. Come on, team. about a quarter of that to fill the gaps in each trench. Have you checked the plan to make sure, Bob? Good idea, Scoop. Hmm. Maybe we'll need a bit more than a quarter. Thanks, Scoop. Good job we checked. Well, well, well. I was told there was a problem, but it all seems fine. Mr. Bentley, you worry too much. Bob always does a brilliant job. Uh, yeah, I never really doubted him. You're just in time for the big switchover, Mayor Madison. Thank you, Bob. Ahem. Powering up! Yay, the spinning things are spinning! Faster, faster! And look at the shiny solar panels. You've saved space for future expansion. Well, that was actually Scoop's idea. That's perfect. If we ever need to build, say, a giant squid pool. Ooh! But, best of all, I love how you've mixed and matched wind power and solar power. Y you've created a wind solar farm! Oh, oh, now I've got an idea. Let's use cow power! <laughs> That's the wrong sort of farm, Muck. Remember? Well, then what about sheep power? Or chickens? Let's use chicken power. 